It's no secret that a lot of the world's top professional riders use South Africa for their pre-season training through the months of November, December, Jan and Feb. There's a few reasons for that. One, the euro or dollar goes very far here. Another reason is we're in the same time zone as Europe, so it's easy for them to stay in contact with family and sponsors and so on. Another reason is we have heat here which for a lot of them, they find more beneficial to their pre-season preparation than altitude training. So a lot of them come out for the, for the heat here, and I mean, today it's, 30, it's 32 degrees. Uh, in a few days time, it's gonna be 43 degrees. So there's no shortage of heat here in Cape Town. Another reason is we've got hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of great trails um, all, all through the country, but also here in the Stellenbosch Somerset West area. For those reasons and maybe some others, your London F has been out for around five weeks right, uh, this right, December yeah. Jan period for a good pre season block. She's been seen training all around um, the trails that we've had here. I was fortunate enough to be invited to ride with her about two weeks ago and I was completely blown away by the speed with which she descends. It's a 100 millimeter fork, it's a 60 millimeter rear XC bike, it's the same bike that she won. Olympics on, same kind of bike she won Olympics on and we were riding a downhill track, an actual downhill track that we race here in South Africa on the Heldberg trails in Somerset West. It's Andrew Nettling's home track. Andrew Nettling's raced on the professional downhill circuit for 12 years. He's a Scott ambassador. He's a very good rider. It's his home trail. He knows the trails re really well. So he was leading. Yolanda was following and I was following Yolanda. It was the first time that Yolanda had been down that downhill. She's on a full XC bike and I was completely blown away with the speed with which she was descending. Plus, the composure. She's incredibly skilled. Inside lining, through all the square edges, crossing the marbles, uh, and never out of shape. I stretched at times to stay with her and I was on a 120 bike. And I, I just couldn't believe that the Olympic champion was well, I could be. She is one of the best all-time women riders, but I just, I, I actually <laughs> wish I had my GoPro with me that I could capture oh some of the footage. Goodness. So, what I'm doing today oh, is yeah. um, heading to the same venue, uh, riding with Andrea and Yolanda, but in fact, the Swiss XC team have joined Yolanda for a, for a week or so. And so I believe the Swiss team is out here now and it's gonna be a bit of a group ride. But what I'm gonna try and do for you today is I'm not gonna stick cameras in their faces and try and interview them. It's off season and they're chilling, they're having a good time and they do enough media throughout the year. So I'm not gonna be that guy putting the camera in their face and asking for an But what I'm gonna try and do, load up a GoPro, follow as many of them as I can on the downhills because I certainly won't stay with them on the climbs. <laughs> follow as many of, of them as I can on the downhills and just try and capture as much as I can, the speed and the skill that these best in the world cross country races actually, the speed with which they actually descend. I, I was blown away two weeks ago and I hope to capture the footage so that you at home can see just how great these riders are.